Hello everyone, I'm Dipali Chandel and today's, today's tutorial is regarding introduction to natural language processing. Now, what is natural language processing? So basically, natural language processing deals with the interaction between human and computer. And its ultimate aim is to read, decipher, understand and make sense of human language and to make systems which can perform tasks like text classification, sentiment analysis, spam detection and chatbots and etc. So uh, ultimately we can say at the end NLP is the combination of computer science, human language and artificial intelligence. Okay, now let's proceed further to understand what is human language or what is natural language. Fine. Okay, so natural language or human language is that language in which we humans communicate with each other that we used to learn since our birth. Okay, that is human language. So there are in total 6500 natural languages in the world. Now NLP is the combination of natural language understanding and natural language generation. Okay, so what is natural language understanding? Natural language understanding is the subtopic of natural language processing. Okay, now see basically what happens in the NLP. First of all, a NLP process or NLP system. First, it will understand the human language. Then it will process it and according to its process, whatever it able to process, according to that it will acknowledge, according to it acknowledge with the help of natural language generation and that natural language generation unit will going to generate again a human language. Okay, so basically what is natural language understanding? The understanding of the meaning of the human language, the understanding of the meaning of the human language and structure of the human language. That is natural language understanding. Okay. Now what is natural language generation? See, natural language generation unit generates the human language text. Okay. So I told you like uh, if just look at this example over here. This girl, her speech is getting recognized by the automatic speech recognition. Then that output of the automatic speech recognition unit is going to the natural language understanding unit. Over there, this natural language understanding unit gonna understand whatever, uh, whatever the sense or meaning of her words. After that, it will go to the uh, acknowledgement of that natural language understanding unit will go to the natural language generation unit. Over there, according to her query or according to we can say her words, this natural language generation unit will going to generate answer. Whatever answer will come from over here from the dialogue manager and from this output that will going to be converted to the human language with the help of natural language generation unit okay then that human language will going to be uh, converted from the text to speech by the text to speech uh, we can say synthesis unit so this text to speech synthesis unit will going to convert from text to speech and text was human language that was generated by natural language generation unit fine I hope this flow is clear to you. Now over here there is another example. Okay. Now I am asking. I am asking uh, one of my webs. Uh, let's say Amazon. I am asking what's your return policy. Okay. Now the natural language unit in the system of the Amazon will going to comprehend what, what I said. Okay. And whatever algorithms are there of the machine learning or deep learning will analyze. Okay. And determine the right response. Now after that what will happen that output from the those algorithm will go to the natural language generation unit over there what will happen this this natural language generation unit unit will give response uh, that will be in the human format that is in the human text we can say human language text okay or uh, human language uh, output human language answer okay like in the way we speak the same answer we will get. Fine. So you can see you are getting answer. You can return your item within 30 days of receipt. So NLP consists of NLU and NLG both. Fine. Okay. Now applications of NLP. So uh, there are uh, I have included few applications of NLP. So some of them are text or document classification. Fine. Like spam detection. We can say a mail is coming. Whether that mail belongs to spam category or not a spam category that can be detected with the help of NLP fine now text summarization information extraction AI chatbots text similarity 
how much two texts are similar then sentiment analysis on the basis of the sentences okay on the basis of the sentences we can like this uh, nlp system can sense uh, whether that sentence is of the negative category or neutral category or positive category fine so just look at this example he got angry when he find out about their plans he sent an angry letter to the company president so nlp system will recognize it that this is this belong to negative category then good job but i will expect a lot more in the future this is kind of neutral and attitude is a choice happiness is a choice optimism is a choice this is very positive sentence right so this is how the way we are analyzing in the same manner nlp system will analyze to which category these sentences belong okay what are their sentiments now semantic analysis after that language translation converting from one language to the another language then speech to text or text to speech fine machine comprehension what is machine comprehension okay just look at this example question a girl is asking my grandfather has been found to have cancer will my insurance cover his hospital expenses okay now after looking at the evidences and all the bot will answer accordingly so over here the answer uh, he is uh, the bot is getting yeah, uh, giving yes fine so this is known as machine comprehension okay now let's understand some use cases of nlp so basically uh, some use cases are machine translation blocking the spam then detecting emotion information extraction that we already did question answering chatbots and further in the industrial app use cases are like uh, in the healthcare system recognizing and predicting about the disease based on the health records electronic health records and own speech of the patient okay fine now the next one is uh, from the review of the customer okay from the review of the customers organization like amazon can analyze whether its customer is satisfied by its service or not okay and to improve its service uh, to improve uh, to improve the satisfaction of the customer it can take further steps okay this is known as sentiment analysis now uh, with the help of nlp a personalized search, search engine can be developed like ibm developed one of them okay a personal personalized search engine can be developed what i mean by personalized search engine see personalized search engine means the search engine search engine will work only for you that will remind you of a uh, of anything that you like according to your preference okay a song a video or whatever you like according to your preference so that search engine will be like will work only for you fine now in the classification of emails whether the, the, those belong to spam or not a spam okay to identify the fake news then intelligent voice driven interfaces devices you know like amazon alexa google home apple siri okay these are intelligent voice driven interfaces okay that can that are developed with the help of nlp and nlp can and another application is in the talent recruitment process okay over there also nlp can be used fine and nlp is being used in that uh, field okay so let's move to nlp libraries okay now first of all nltk now nltk stands for natural language toolkit it is most well known library okay it provides third party extensions as well and it has uh, plenty of approaches for each nlp task then it has large number of languages as compared to other libraries okay now what are its cons it is quite slow okay then uh, it does not provide neural network models and it does not have word vectors fine now going further another library is spacy spacy library has the fastest nlp framework that is easy to learn and to use as well because this language this library is highly optimized for each task okay and it uses neural networks for training uh, the models as well fine and it has built in word uh, vectors as well okay now what are its con it is less flexible as compared to nltk and it only supports seven languages till now but since it is we can say highly used lang uh, highly used uh, library so uh, in the near future it will support more languages now another library is scikit learn okay now uh, we can say 
uh, it provides variety of algorithms to build machine learning uh, models okay and yeah it has good documentation as well okay now it does not uh, use neural networks for the pre-processing fine okay now coming to the next library which is gensim so this library works with the uh, works well with the large data set okay and it supports deep learning as well and what are its cons its cons are it is primarily used for the unsupervised modeling okay and also yeah it does not have enough tools which can provide full uh, nlp pipeline okay so if you want uh, you know if you want a complete nlp pipeline then uh, this gensim library should be used with other library as well uh, other library along with other library okay that you can take spacey or nltk or any other fine now going further we have pattern library so this library uh, allows uh, sentiment analysis wordnet vector space model clustering and sbm as well but basically what are, what is its con it is basically web miner and uh, we can say it is not uh, we can say it can't be optimized for all the nlp task okay now another library is polyglot library so this polyglot library support large number of languages okay and it is uh, its con is it is not much popular okay and it has a uh, issue uh, issue related to its slowness it is slow okay as compared to other languages now going further uh, another library is core nlp so core nlp library uh, we can say it is great for designing prototypes but yes it is its uh, con is it is slow for production usage okay now next library is text blob so text blob library is great for semantic similarity to analyze similar, uh, semantic similarity between two te uh, two documents okay uh, text blob can handle uh, large text collections and it has high memory uh, usage optimization and high processing speed as well now what are its con it basically supports unsupervised uh, text modeling and it does not have enough tools okay fine now going further another library is globe so basically globe represent global vectors it is basically an algorithm to get word to vec model and globe is also a trained model which is inside the globe library okay now other library is pytorch for the nlp so pytorch is basically deep learning library okay and it has certain helper libraries which can be used for nlp like torch text and torch nlp library okay which process textual data okay uh, that means with few lines of code we can perform nlp tasks with the help of torch text and torch nlp library and it is very lighter and easy to learn uh, library pytorch okay fine and it is good for prototypes for designing prototypes now another library is tensorflow uh, tensorflow libraries uh, again a deep learning library which can be used for nlp processes as well so this is basically better for production uh, we can say industry production production usage okay and it has great scalability fine now the next library uh, next library is fast text uh, fast text library so this library is great for text classification and this library was built by uh, we can say this library was created by facebook's ai research lab and it has pre trained pre trained models of 294 languages okay now the next library is transformers so this transformers library was developed by hugging face and it can be used to load any transformer based model like bert elmo gtp etc now let's uh, let's uh, i will tell you like how these libraries came in so first of all nlt came into the picture nltk came into the picture okay then uh, this nltk was only based on language uh, grammar of any language and uh, linguistic approach okay then gensim globe and uh, core nlp came into the picture along with that pytorch and tensorflow was also used then spacey came into the picture okay then uh, then along with it Uh, we can say uh, this tensorflow and pytorch was also being used okay now after that transformers came okay and again pytorch and tensorflow was constant in the usage along with that 
so this was little bit introduction about nlp and uh, some of its library i think i covered most of the library of the nlp and what is nlu what is nlg all the things i covered in this video so we'll catch up in the next class starting with we can say uh, uh, nlp concept okay thank you guys for attending this session yeah bye